It's um, a long walk while you're pondering feminism, the new descriptions. Um, I am delighted to be here uh, to introduce the next panel, um, which is all about building entrepreneurial capital. I think, for me, entrepreneurs are some of the bravest people in society because they um, are the growth engines of how commerce moves forward. We were at our salon dinner last night and we asked for words of advice from all of the different attendees. And it was interesting that there was no repetition. Everybody had their own view of what the powerful word was that they could describe entrepreneurship with. There were things like tenacity, a willing, willingness to fail, the ability to learn. And also I think, and you see this in this room, there was such a wide range of women who had made such change to build a business. There were people who'd found new paths, had left existing careers, had created something new. These awesome young women from um, Sword and Plow, who I think are over there, who um, have created um, garment bags and bags out of just stunning military gear because of their past and how they could raise money for the forces. Um, there were people serving communities in a really different way. Um, a young woman from Afghanistan, Roya, who I think spoke earlier, who you know, is moving her society forward. And I think that that entrepreneurial ship is something that women are particularly strong at. Um, I looked at some data, and there are 1,200 companies that are founded by women every year, every day in the States. And um, those numbers have increased 68% over the last 15 years. Um, I think women disrupt what um, the offering is that they can bring to the, in the world that we live in. You know, we're at PayPal, we like to think that we disrupt payments and do things differently and make it easier for people to move their money and for merchants to succeed. I think one of the things I'm most proud of for, from our perspective is our ability to try and help entrepreneurs and women in different ways because of the data and technology that we have. So we're able to, we've just um, donated or lent nearly $500 million worth of credit and loans to businesses because we're able to use data in a different way um, from the traditional, more established ways of actually lending credit to people. And that's something I think women will really benefit from. So I think technology has proved that we can do all of these things differently um, and blended with an entrepreneurial drive. There's this real skill set and opportunity for women to thrive. So please join me in um, welcoming our next panel, which is kind of an awesome group of entrepreneurial women. And um, they're going to join us right now, I believe. Great.